Hey you guys, it's Mark here, and I'm here to talk about the brothers and sisters of our church. Now, if you have any desire to get into the church or the seminary life, I heavily consider going in that direction. Today we have some fantastic people talking about it, and here we go. Hey guys, it's Royce, and I'm here to tell you about the stages of formation of being a religious brother or sister. So there's four different steps. Number one, the first is postulancy, which is um, a person who is beginning the formation of being a religious brother or sister. The second is noviate, which is um, they begin to live the life of vows of the community and they may like study the community uh, charism, I think. And so like that's the next step in the process. The third is temporary profession where they request entrance to the profession and they like may be known as junior professed and the fourth is perpetual vows and after several years if the if they continue to remain consecrated to god they will take another vow so fantastically said by royce now let's go on to what gabby has to say to know if you're being called to be a religious sister or brother um there are several signs that will help you um know like if your prayer life is getting stronger and you see yourself pray more frequently if you are attending mass more and other sacraments if you are spending more time in the church and service related activities if you um it just can picture yourself every single day living as a religious sister or brother and preaching and praising and receiving um sacraments um every day then that's also another sign and just um and just not seeing yourself in a relationship with another person or another career is a really obvious um sign of being called to the religious life along with just not being able to fight off the idea of being a religious sister or brother are also um, big signs. Thank you. Well said by Gabby. Now on to Rachel. Brothers and sisters are dedicated to this vocation to help lead others to the truth of God. Short yet correct. Now on to Casey. Now, you might be wondering, how is this going to benefit or reward me? Well, I'm here to tell you that not only are you going to be walking in the shadow of God, you're also putting your life in his hands. You're devoting your life to him. And not only are you going to have happiness, you're also going to have a, ha a peace of mind because you trust in him and you're doing the work of God. What an amazing job by our speakers today. The last thing we want to do is pray for the people in this vocation, such as the priests, brothers, and sisters, or anybody in the seminary or in the training. We want to pray that they have a good time in the seminary or have a very successful career out of it as well. Bless up.